Good morning, everyone. So I received a video request from a previous video. Um, you know, I was saying in that video um, that we could do data recovery off of a floppy drive, um, but I didn't really show it. Um, so this person wanted to learn how to do it. So first thing you got to do is get one of these. This is a USB floppy drive, three and a half. I don't know that they make a five and a quarter. Um, and of course, you need your floppy drive. So pop this in real quick. You plug it into any USB port uh, and then at that point it should recognize um, your Windows 10, Windows 7, um, should recognize it at that point and allow you to do what you got to do. So let me get this connected to the virtual machine here and we'll open it up. And it should show on your floppy, or it should show on your drive list over here on this PC. Floppy disk drive. There it is. Um, so yeah, it does show up. So then you can just take your disk, put it into your drive. You'll fill it. If you're holding it or if you're close to it, you'll hear it spin up or uh, move so you can know it, it is acknowledging it. Hopefully that disc is good. Um, the light says it's did everything, so let's see if the drive or that disc is good. Probably not. Okay, so there is something on that disc. That's good. So that's how you do it. Uh, you know, you just, once you've got the disc in, you let it read. There's a little indicator light on it that lets you know that the drive is in use. Like I said, you just go to your floppy drive. If there's something there to read, then you just do the traditional drag and drop or, you know, right cut, right click copy, right click paste. Um, I don't know if this was specifically what this person was looking for because, again, it, it appears that English was a second language for them. Uh, they just said it was can you do a data extraction from a floppy disk to a hard drive? Sure you can. Um, and so, like I said, you just go in here and you do uh, copy, and this is Windows 11. They have different icons, but it's right-click copy. And then you just take it over to your C drive, right-click paste. And remember, floppy disks are really, really slow because it is old technology. Um, so you'll see it go through here. Uh, yes, and that's just the security kicking in. <laughs> so, you know, hey, this is OTEC. Are you sure you want to do it? Yep, and there it is. It's copied over that way. So now I don't know if this person was really more asking about the question of data recovery. Um, and that could have been what they were asking for again. It appeared that English was a second language, so I'm not sure. So the program we use for data recovery is an old program. It's called Get Data Back. They do make a new version of this, um, you know, but I, and I bought it, I think it was like version 8. Um, I wasn't impressed with it. This is an old version. As you can see, this is Get Data Back for FAT, File Allocation Table. This is for FAT32, FAT12, and FAT16. Uh, which covers your floppy drives. Uh, and so, yeah, you just fire up this program now. In this particular case, this is going to be on my main drive. So I need to take this floppy drive, send it back over to the host. Uh, removable drives, just connect and connect to the host. Because I'm using the studio, the studio software is a virtual machine, so I have to send it back. All right, so now let's do over here. So when you get to this screen, you're not going to know. Just use the default settings. Go forward. It'll scan for the drives. Hopefully, it'll see it by now. It sees one. It'll say, you know, you got to run this in administrative permissions. Yeah, I, I didn't run it in admin. I just wanted you to see how it does. There is the floppy drive. And uh, for this particular program or whatever data recovery you're using, make sure that it is capable of reading a floppy disk. Uh, because floppy disks are old technology, uh, a lot of the modern hard drive data recovery programs are not designed for floppy disks uh, because they use a different file allocation table. That's what that 
FAT stands for. Um, FAT as a file allocation table has not been used in a very long time. Windows transitioned out of FAT to um, NTFS and now they're using a slightly different version of it now. I can't think remember what it's called, but um, FAT is still used for floppy drives. Uh, well, not necessarily floppy drives, flash drives. That's what I was thinking of. So if you have a flash drive, generally those are using FAT32, uh, and you would use this program to do a data recovery of a flash drive because it's using the file allocation table 32. Uh, the um, floppy drives, I think, are using either FAT12 or FAT16. I can't remember, but that's, that's what you do. So once you see it here, and you know it's there, you can just click next. It will go through and scan it. Um, okay, this FAT12, exactly. Floppy disks, uh, like I said, don't have a whole lot of space. 1.44 megabytes, so it doesn't take long to scan them on a modern computer. Um, the slowdown is, is because it's old technology. It has to read it at the speed in which it reads it. hear it clicking, that's what it means it's doing. It's actually reading the disk. When you get to this point, if you have a green one, that means that the disk is good generally. You can look through it, but if what you're looking for is the yellow and red ones if it's a bad floppy disk. Uh, you click next, it's gonna bring up the FAT12 allocations and everything it found. Um, if, they are so, if there are subfolders, they'll show up over here, and then inside that subfolder will be the individual file. Um, from here, you would just click on the files you want or the folders you want, right click, copy, and then you can send it directly to your um, hard drive that way. So that's the easiest way to do it. Um, you know, I, I hope that uh, answers your question, but like I said, um, this, this particular per program is probably eight, nine years old, uh, maybe longer. Let me think about this. Uh, maybe 15. Uh, it's, it's been around for a good long time. One of the best investments I've made in this uh, project, or in this, uh, in all the software I bought, this is one of the best ones I've ever bought. And when I bought it, it was 80 bucks. Uh, and I want to say it was, what did I say, early 2010s? Uh, so, best program, it's out of a company. Uh, the company is out of Germany. Like I said, I bought their new stuff because I wanted to have that capability, and I wasn't impressed. I, I still rely on this program a lot. In fact, I just did a data recovery for a woman who brought me a Windows XP laptop, um, and it worked wonderful. So that's really how you do data extraction from a floppy drive or data recovery from a floppy drive. Um, you know, hopefully that helps you, and if you found this informative, enlightening, you know, thumbs up, all that other stuff so people know. Um, if you don't want to do this yourself, you can always bring it to us. Um, you know, that's our phone number, give us a call. There's our street address, there it is. Find us on Facebook, over on MeWe. You know, we've got a web page and so on and so forth. So, like, share, and subscribe, it greatly helps, and you have yourself a great day.